And welcome back to Comet Frontline, everybody. I'm Brant. I'm Lisa. And this is WMT's Hall. Weekly Hall? Hall. Yeah. I don't remember <laughs> what it's called. It's either <laughs> the Hall or the Weekly Hall. You guys know this. It's this is episode 10, the big 1-0 yeah. of volume 2. Sorry. It's nice mm. It's loose. <laughs> um, um, yeah, so. <laughs> it's a special one. It is a special one. Volume 2, issue 10. That's basically what it is. Episode 10. But I know. I was being funny. Okay. Comics. You know. Yeah, I get anyway. it. Uh, <laughs> I'm dumb. I get it too. <laughs> anyway, so we've got a little something extra for uh, this particular haul. We're going to do the comics first, but you guys need to stay tuned because we got some con swag. We were just at Comic Palooza in Houston this past weekend. Mm -hmm. Had a great time. So uh, we got that. And we got a couple of things... Uh, Related, well, one related to LEP, and one related to ME. <laughs> <laughs> so, stay tuned for all that. But first, we get into this week's comics. It's we, actually last week's comics. Last week's comics came out last Wednesday. <coughs> you guys, we already told you we were going to be late with this, obviously, because of the convention and everything. So, these actually came out on the 15th. Is that right? Yeah. So you'll see, be seeing us again very, very soon. Yes. Friday, hopefully. Yeah. With the next haul. Absolutely. Which that one probably will not have anything <laughs> extra. Yeah, probably not. All right. Uh, they gave us packing peanuts this time. We got a pretty <laughs> hefty stack there, though. Yeah. It looks like it. I'm not going to look at the number this time because it's, it's episode 10. It's special. <laughs> so we're going to get. She's going to take that box out of the way. There is. Let's see. I'm going to guess it's about 27. You fill it and you look at it and you guess. We'll, we'll see you. Who's right at the end? 24. 24. Ooh. Let's see. We gotta see who, <laughs> what's the winner here. We gotta have. We gotta figure this out. <laughs> I don't know. What's the winner here? Win a winner chicken dinner? <laughs> sure. You can make dinner. <laughs> if I win. What if I win? Then I'll make dinner. But you did. Okay. <laughs> All right, so who <laughs> wins? Doesn't have to make dinner. Right. Uh, I got a better one. What? I got a better one because this one's more of a pain. Mm -hmm. Whoever loses has to feed the dogs. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we, we trade off or we double team feeding the dogs usually. But... You just don't want to cook. No. <laughs> <laughs> I got too much work to do. <laughs> For a change. Mm -hmm. I'm the one who does all the work. Yeah. All right, so. Get rid of that. Scare the dog. Who is, I think, under my feet. Yeah. Get rid of that. The packing slip in the thing. Alright, here we go. Got the stack. We're ready to go. I don't know whose turn it is. Mine. Apparently it's hers. I don't know. <laughs> what's, the, what's up first? Star Wars issue 20. Issue 20. Now count along, people. <laughs> 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 even though we have a number on the thing. So. Yeah. All right. This is actually, I didn't even know I had this. I yeah. thought I'd cancel it already. Mm. I think this might be the last issue of this I'm getting. Yeah. Because I dropped all the Star Wars books. Just, the stories weren't grabbing me as much as they were in the early issues. All right. We got Rebirth, Superman, number one. Excited for that one. Tales from the Dark Side. This is mine. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Pretty it's, much. it's the new Joe Hill and what's his name? Uh, Gabriel Rodriguez. Yeah. The team that uh, did Lock and Key. It's yeah. their new book from IDW. I guess you wanted it too. I, I wanted to read it because we it's, both liked Lock and Key. Exactly. So, but it was more you. You're the yeah. one who pointed out and said I got to get that. So, all right, another Rebirth book. This one I'm really excited about. Titans Rebirth number one. Mm -hmm. Cool. Uh, Uncanny Inhumans, issue 10. Some interesting stuff coming up in that in a few months. Solicit yeah, solicitations came out this. It's that whole mosaic thing. Have you heard us talking about it? No? Okay. no. I'll fill you in later. <laughs> okay. All right. <laughs> All right. Aftershock Comics, Black Eyed Kids, number three. Really great series if you guys haven't checked out Aftershocks. Uh, books you need to. You got a lot of great stuff. Yeah. Uh, I don't know what it is. <laughs> <laughs> Let me see. We didn't order that cover, surely. 
I don't even have a clue what that is. Looks like it's got Iron Man on it. So maybe it's... What is the one with his team? Oh, it's... Oh! It's Civil War II. It was just in there backwards. Right? No! No? It's a variant. We didn't order the variant. That's <coughs> weird. They must have run out. Yeah, they must have run out and we got this... This uh, variant. Yeah, it's a sketch variant, yeah. it looks like. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Okay. So Civil War Two number two. Okay. Definitely I, I really enjoyed that was my number one pick mm -hmm. on the live show, so um looking forward to reading that one as well. I'll, yeah, I guess I'll take that one and we'll turn it over. Okay. We got Amazing Spider Man number fourteen featuring Invincible Iron Man ruined by Regent. I really enjoyed the last issue. And so I'm betting I'm gonna enjoy this one as well. Alright. I thought that said regret. No, <laughs> Regent is a new villain. <laughs> Alright, Justice League issue fifty one. Yep, only one more to go of that, and it's finally done. Finally finished. Beneath. Alright, this is both of ours. Yeah. This is Klaus or Klaus number six. I wish somebody would tell me how to pronounce this book because I, I say this every time. It's either Claus like Santa Claus or Klaus because, you know. Yeah. So, <laughs> what? Just one more. Oh, maybe it's we'll, only a seven issue? Maybe we'll get it by Christmas. It is a seven. <laughs> I didn't realize it was a seven issue. Oh, man. I'm really sad to see that go. Yeah. I really enjoyed good. that. All right. Uh, Nova 8. Which is a Civil, Civil War 2. I am. Yep. Cool. That's Yeah. All right. I'm way behind on this, but Patsy Walker, aka mm -hmm. Hellcat, number seven, guest starring Jessica Jones. I'm a little behind. I think like two issues. Behind. I'm probably like four issues behind. <laughs> <laughs> I like that one. Yes, it is good. All right. Poison Ivy, Cycle of Life and Death. Showdown with the is that Grim? Yes. The final issue. Final issue. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm excited and sad. <laughs> yeah. Such a good book. Yeah, and such gorgeous art too. All right, we got excuse me, Scooby Apocalypse number two. It's I kind of. I'd love to read the first. One. Yeah, it's kind of a cool <laughs> out there version of Scooby. I enjoyed it. So, we'll see what uh, issue two is like. Oh, I got it. Sorry, I'll be off. Alright, Spidey, issue seven. seven. Yay. I'm way behind on it. <laughs> I'm caught up on that, actually. I liked it, but yeah. it goes to the bottom of my must read for some reason. What the heck is that? Fluff. Mm -hmm. oh, it's like chocolate. chocolate. Smear it. It's, <laughs> it's ruining my path. We'll have to get some water when we're done. I have like this giant pad, like a mouse pad. It's a mouse pad, but it's like this is big. Yeah. It's from PAX. You guys saw it in one of the previous hauls. Somehow chocolate. I don't know where chocolate came from because I didn't have chocolate today. I did. You got chocolate. But on my I bed. didn't do it. It didn't even look like chocolate. <laughs> I got chocolate. It was. It's smeared. It doesn't mean it's chocolate. It's chocolate. It smelled. Okay, then it must have been me. Did you have a cookie? I did not. I did not. <laughs> I, I did. A, you blame me. I had a chocolate chip <laughs> cookie for breakfast with my coffee. Well, there you go. Mm. I got chocolate on my Yes, you did. I'm sorry. <laughs> so, International <laughs> Iron Man, number four. <laughs> Another Civil War to tie in. Upcoming in this book, he finally, I think in September, finally finds out who his parents are. Oh, interesting. Takes that long. There's your book. <laughs> your book. I hate Fairyland, issue six. It's finally back. I've been reading. It's funny. Yeah, actually, I love that book too. Mm -hmm. You guys know it's been in my top five many times. Yeah. All right, I think this might be the last issue of this we got. Mm -hmm. Dungeons and Dragons: Shadow of the ba Shadows of the Vampire number two. Uh, I enjoyed it. 
but it didn't blow me away and so we had to make some cuts and unfortunately this is one that went um, hopefully if I hear good things I'll pick it pick the rest of it up and trade um, injustice gods among us year five issue 12 issue 12 that sounds so sad <laughs> there's a sequel to the video game this thing's got legs it's got life it's, okay I, don't know. I haven't read a single issue of year five yet I'm just waiting now so it's all done all right issue yeah. number three of no, I gotta do it. Okay, go for it. Strawberry shortcake. <laughs> <laughs> this is a really fun book. It you is. guys should read it. It's hilarious. All right. Oh, sorry. Um, Archer and Armstrong, issue number four. My book. I am behind one issue on this. Mm, that's good. That's good I think no. I think you're right. I don't think I've read issue three either. <laughs> I just said it's a good issue though. No, wait a minute. I, I wonder that. if they're still in the bag. <laughs> Probably. Did you did you happen to glimpse this cover? No. It's Doorman number three from Heavy Metal. Okay. Oh yeah, <laughs> we picked that one out earlier. I know, I remember. I remember uh, I'd forgotten. Awesome. It's got a giant koala <laughs> on it. Love it. Alien koala. Alien koala, we love koalas. That is mm -hmm. awesome. So cute. <laughs> All right, your turn. Um, Batman number, number one. one. Number one. <laughs> All right, we've got Black Widow numero cuatro. That might be the last one. I think so. That we get. Yeah. Again, unfortunately, fell yeah. to the cuts. <laughs> we were getting so much from Marvel, it was too much. Uh, Green Arrow, issue one. I'm excited for this one. I liked the zero issue a lot. Mm -hmm. And the final book is also a rebirth book. Okay. And it's one I reviewed. Green Lanterns, okay. number one. I reviewed this on Comic Frontline last Wednesday, so if you guys haven't seen that, you can go check it out. It is already up there. So, what is the tally? Oh, who wins? Bum, bum, bum. Mm, darn it. Is it 27 on the dot? You didn't say 27. I did say 27. What no, did you I say? Didn't. You okay. said 26. Didn't you? I said 27. Well, it's 26. I was closer. You're closer. I was closer. <laughs> so now I have to cook and feed the dogs. This isn't fair. Not fair. I'm the winner. I'm the winner. I get my dinner. <laughs> you feed the dogs this. Fine. Right. Yeah. All right. <laughs> it was close. It was one one book off the other way. Yeah. You would have won. So it was um, close. Okay. <laughs> All right. So we got some other stuff. Let's get to it. We went to Comic Palooza, as we mentioned at the top of the show, at the top of the show, top of the video, and, uh, a show? yeah, it is a show. We were set up there, Artist Alley, mm -hmm. and, uh, we had some stuff, but we'll get to that in a minute. We managed to make the rounds, pick up some indie titles. Yeah. Excited to share that with you, and we also got, uh, some art. Do we want to show the art first, or the books? Oh, what do you think? Let's show the art first. Art first. We got three prints, um... Two of them are from Greg Horn. You guys are probably familiar from, uh, with him. Famous cover artist. And the other one is from a girl that was across the uh, aisle away from us. So we'll show you Greg Horn's first. This is yours. Oh, so exciting. Matt Smith, Doctor Who. It's really cool. I don't know how well you guys can see it with the glare. Mm -hmm. But it is a gorgeous, gorgeous piece. I gotta Angels say. Angels in the background. Yeah. Karen Gillan for all you Guardians of the Galaxy fans. <laughs> Great lightnesses there. Too. Yeah, it's so good. It's awesome. And also by Greg Land. And he had Greg some... Land. Greg Horn. Not Greg Land. Greg <laughs> Horn. Horn. I apologize. I'm sorry. For some reason I had Greg Land in my head. Greg Horn. Um... He had so many great pieces, and I had a hard time choosing. But yeah. there was something about the expression on, and, and just the uh, atmosphere of this piece, 
that really just jumped out at me. Scarlet Witch. Just another gorgeous piece. And I'll show you close up. Just look at the detail on that. And these and you really appreciated like the little uh figures. Yeah. That are all uh, around. What are they it. called? I forget what they're called. I, I forget what they're called too. Like marionettes or something. Yeah, marionettes. That's that's it. The marionettes all around. So that's a gorgeous piece. And we actually traded one of uh, our prints for this one with the girl across from this Kalo. Yeah. Um, I think her I put her card in the back if you want to give her information. Okay. Let's see if we can get it out real quick. Um Go follow her on Facebook or something. Yeah. I think her Facebook page is Kalo Draws. Yeah, Kalo Draws. Um and or you can Google Mermaid Kalo, that'll bring her up as well. And it's K A L O. L O, yeah. Yeah. So she had this piece uh, mm -hmm. set up on her booth, and it was really cute. And it was staring at us all weekend long. And I was like, You asked me which one. I was like, Well, yeah. if I'm choosing, it's, it's got to be this one. So Poison Ivy and Harley. Yeah. And you're a big Poison Ivy fan, too. Yeah, so it makes it. Yeah. The absolutely. other one I was tempted by was Little Mermaid. Yeah. But it was, <laughs> it was, uh, the image wasn't as. Dynamic, I didn't think it was smaller. It was a cute. Bit smaller. Uh, the actual figure. Yeah. It like was. the actual figure it was, was a whole like, body. Right. So, but still, yeah. great piece. All right. Okay, so we got some books. Let's see. We, um, all right, first, I'm going to do these first. Sure. All right. We stopped by a table. Um, Guardian Night Comics, they were an aisle over from us, mm -hmm. and we uh, we had seen them at another show, but we kept missing each other because we were set up as well, so yeah. um, every time we get went over there, they had stepped away and, <laughs> you know, whatever, so we wanted to check out some of their books, and we actually got to talking to them for a while and, and talk shop a little bit, so it was really cool, we got some, uh, very nice and helpful, yeah, so we got some good info, uh, confirmed some things for us, and, and so on and so forth, so first, this is the first series that we had seen at the uh, other show that we were interested in. It's called Moon Streak. And it does kind of have a, a 90s vibe to the cover right there. It kind of looks like. But. No, the art. Yeah. Oh, okay. Just, I don't know. Some, <laughs> something about it just pulls me in. There's issue three. Um, so that one really caught my, my attention. We got the first three issues of this. And I was going to try to find a good page to show you guys. But, oh, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, we want to check that one out and then they had a Kickstarter going for this other book so we picked up the first issue of that uh, it's Gears and Bones right so go search for it or yeah. go to guardiannights.com yeah. they're trying to do a Kickstarter for volume 1 mm -hmm. it looks like but check that out I know you guys like that it's a bunny with a gun and a sword <laughs> how can you go wrong um, <laughs> so we check that out as well and some really nice art in this as well, I think. Check that out. There you go. Really nice art there. So, guardiannightcomics.com. Check them out. All right. So, next we went to uh, Red Five. Yeah. And Red they Five. Had a nice table set up. Yeah, they had, and the guy there, Scott, maybe. Maybe I can't remember. I can't remember. I think so his name was Scott. Um, mm -hmm. He was really nice, really helpful. If you're not familiar with Red Five, originally they originally did Atomic Robo, which I think is now an IDW. Oh. But they used to do that and uh, mm -hmm. a bunch of other titles. But um, the ones we picked up are. We'll start with these because I think you picked these. No, up. those. He threw oh, these. Are, oh, yeah, he threw these in for free. This is a uh, Bad Dreams number two and three. They were giving away free comics to everybody that bought something. Yeah. I think so. It was really cool. Uh, two and three of five. So we get to check those out. Some nice covers there. Mm -hmm. So we got that. And then this was yours. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Bodie Troll. I don't know if you remember. Um, I think we got it in for free comics. Free comic yeah. And so we had, I saw the first issue and figured I'd pick it up. It's really cute art style. Yeah, and I, I actually read the pre comic book day story and it was really cute. I liked it yeah. a lot. So I think you'll enjoy it. Probably. And then I picked this book up. Um it is Spook. And this is the one he, he described as like the born identity with 
Ghost or something? Yeah. Yeah. The Warren Identity with Ghost. This is issue one of four. So I'm a big fan of Warren Identity and I like supernatural stuff. So I thought that would be a good combination. Mm -hmm. uh, so I wanted to check this one out. And finally, we got volume one of this title, Abyss, which I believe was one of their launch titles back when they first started. Yeah. Um, or if it wasn't at launch, it was soon after. I love the art in this book. It reminds me of like an Invincible or something. So maybe a little bit more detailed than that. A little bit darker, but still yeah. the, the kind of art style. I just I really like it. Excuse me. So we got that. So that's Red 5. Okay, then you can talk about this because I can talk I'm out of breath. <laughs> so we went to, I'll start, then you can jump in. We went to another booth called Overground Comics because we saw a banner for a book that we had. Yes. Which was Tinker, Tinker. number one. Um, we read that book and we were like, okay, well, we haven't got, we actually had to drop it because it was one of those unfortunate cuts from our order. So we thought we would check it out, maybe buy the next issue. Yeah. So <laughs> we get there, and we end up walking away with this. <laughs> so why don't you tell them about this? This basically includes uh, all of their number one issues, which is seven books, I think. Mm -hmm. So including Tinker, so we've got a, a repeat of Tinker. But, but signed. Yeah, signed, and um, a print, and some postcards, I believe. Yeah, a collectible postcard set, one limited edition, exclusive America print, seven first run, number one issues. So basically, it lets us sample everything we do. Mm -hmm. So we get an idea for the company and figure out if we want to start ordering some of them. Yeah. Or monthly. Yeah, and he told us the concept oh. behind each book. Mm -hmm. And he seemed very passionate about his work. He wrote most of, of the books. Yeah. And he was really passionate and really wanted to share you know his art with people mm -hmm. so uh, it kind of sold us on it so we wanted to give it a shot mm -hmm. so are we gonna open it are we gonna open it sure we'll open it why not <laughs> it's sure. already a long video yeah <laughs> a little longer. i know sorry about that guys mm -hmm. but we got a lot to a lot to talk about we still got two more things after this yeah the LEP stuff yeah LEP this stuff. is the last of the convention right stuff yeah all right all right the comics Alright, you can show those. Yeah, I'll show, I get the comics out. I'll show the print first. Yeah, the postcards on there. This is their new book, America. Um, I can't remember what that one was about. Yeah, I can't do that. Um, but this <laughs> is the exclusive uh, print. Not sure that one's going to make it to the wall. <laughs> a little risque for our taste, but it's still very nice. Very nice quality, too. Yeah. I gotta say. Um, so there's that. And the postcards. Yeah. And then the postcards. Um, he was like, "These are actual postcards. You can actually send these people. You probably won't, but um, that, so that was cool." Uh, you know, there's America again. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll send that to my mom. Well, so, uh, okay, uh, Hero Core. We got. I'm not sure what that one is. Hero Core again. It's like uh, absent captain, which sounded like a really cool story. Um, another absent captain one. It looks like a, yeah, that's an actual person. Yeah. Um, another absent captain one. We haven't actually seen all these two. We got a dupe of that one. Um, the Graduate, which was another title he talked about, which Sounded this, interesting. yeah, she's the invincible one, right? Yeah. And then, oh, there's a lot in here. Zero Technologies plus Ultra, which uh, sounded kind of interesting to me. And one more absent captain, one as you can see, they actually are scarred. So there you go. Cool. Sorry about that. There was a lot more than I yeah, realized. Yeah, there were only like five. <laughs> I did too. Okay. And the comics, first up, America. Of course. The brand new one. Tinker. The one that we have read. I'll show you a little bit of art too. Mm. There's America. Tinker, which is a really fun story. Yeah. She's like a genius and she creates these uh, power gauntlets. I honestly don't think I ever read it. Really? I read it. So I get so to she's read a... it for the first time. <laughs> awesome. Well, this will be your copy. I'll take the outside. Yeah. The Graduate. 
This one is cool. Um, he, this is the one, right? Yeah. Where he explained that she was born invincible, and because of that, it she grew up without empathy and without understanding pain and everything, and it kind of changed her entire life. Yeah. Where she's not really a hero. Um, so it was an interesting take on on that. So I, I appreciated the the pitch on that one. Mm -hmm. Um, interesting, interesting part. Alright. Hero Core Knights. Knights. So that one. That's a good piece of art. Ash St. Captain. This is really interesting because at the very beginning of the story, He's uh, the one in silhouette. Is uh, he's like a Batman type character, and he's the leader of their version of the Justice League, yeah. and he's presumed dead. And they have they cover his death up while trying to solve his, uh, his the mystery of his murder. Yeah, so it was an interesting concept with that too. And Bless Ultra. Which one more? <laughs> you can say that one too. <laughs> I love this cover. It it reminds me of like Miss Marvel or Dinah Girl or something like that. Smart. All right, and, and the last one. Oh hell, volume one. one. <laughs> I remember this seeing previews of this somewhere. Yeah. But by that colorist. Years ago. Oh, okay. like it was years ago. And I was like, oh, I love that art. Or maybe he just colored some of that same artist stuff. But. Maybe. So, we're going to give all these a shot. Yeah. Looking forward to that. Put back in here. Sure. Alright. <clears throat> I've been talking a lot. <laughs> Almost gotta, done. you got to do some of the talking. Alright, so we got two last things. One of them is LEP, one of them is, like I said, any me. I'll go with me first and I'll let you talk about the yeah. LEP. So you guys have heard me talk about this. What? I know it's stuck too. <laughs> I will not put it back in the bag. Okay. Sorry. No bag. Go ahead. You guys have heard me talk about this book on Zone 4, on the live show, um, in these halls, I, I believe. So, this is a book that I was asked to be a part of probably three years ago. Um, by somebody that had followed my blog, followed my writing, and uh, asked me to be a part of this great anthology. And I was, I was honored because I'm up with some big time writers. David Michelini, who used to write Avengers. Um, Nancy Hansen, Jenny Wood, um, Lee Houston Jr. have all written novels or comics and, and things like that. Um, so, you know, lots of great names in here. We've also got Chris McGee and Jamie Ramos. But the other one, of course, is my name right there, Grant Fowler. This is Singularity Rise of the Posthumans. It is a an anthology prose novel. And I am so excited to be a part of this and that it's actually finally out. Um, we had a publisher, lost the publisher, got another publisher, had to wait for everything to come together, but I'm so excited that I can finally talk about this, have it in hand, physical copies, $15, digital copies, $2.99 for your Kindle, both on Amazon, you can order them, or if you see me at a show, you can pick up one from me, and I was trying to find my story, but I don't think I'm going to be able to find it in time, because I think it's further back. Um, so yeah, this was something, like I said, I was honored to be a part of, and I spent a lot of time working on this, there it goes, The Eye of the Mind is my story, if you guys pick it up, so please check this out, Singularity Rise of the Post-Humans. Yay! Thank you. Hmm. Yeah. And finally, this is also more related to him, uh, The Last Ember, Issue Zero is finally here. We finished it just in time yes. for Comic Palooza, the debut, and uh, yeah, it's the origin story of our, uh, our sort of mascot yeah. character, Ember. The main character of the Emberverse. You can show them the first page. 
That's my favorite page. If you guys remember, if you saw the video on our Facebook page, um, here I'll zoom in. This is the page that Lisa was coloring live at um, GeekCon Tyler. Yeah. So I'm so excited about this. We have this this particular book, this particular issue has been in production since I want to say May of last year. Maybe a little bit sooner. Yeah. April. Something like that. Somewhere around there. <laughs> uh, lots of pitfalls with this one, but it is done. It is completed. It is in hand. It was on the table at Comicpalooza. Sold a few copies. Um, got some good feedback about it. Uh, really excited to see what everybody thinks about this. Um, if you guys are reviewers out there and you're interested, let me know. Lastinburpress at gmail.com. Uh, some great art there. Some great coloring, of course. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> and we did a little extra thing in the back yeah. on this one. I'll show you. I haven't done before. Yeah, Lisa kind of embellished her blog post from the website um, talking about how Ember was discovered uh, mm -hmm. within the logo and how it was kind of an, a happy accident that just kind of birthed into, into her uh, over time. So uh, that's really cool. And then uh, our social media director actually interviewed me, two-page interview, seven questions, uh, seven burning questions with me about the book and what you can expect from it in the future. So uh, lots of info there. And then an ad for one of our new titles coming out soon. So yeah. <laughs> anyway, very excited about this. Uh, really pleased with how it turned yes, out. Yes, really pleased with how it turned out. Looks great. Our printer did an amazing job. Mm -hmm all the people involved with this uh, from the plotting to the editing to the colors and the letters and the art of course and the art of course i was getting there <laughs> and uh and the writing's not too shabby either no. so. <laughs> uh, but yeah we're very excited about this so this is our latest release this is the last ember number zero you can find this soon um maybe later this week on lastemberpress.com um, it's not up there yet as of the posting of this I'll probably video. post it later this evening. Okay, so it'll be up tonight. <laughs> so <laughs> there you go. Um, so you can get it uh, through the website. And uh, we'll keep you updated where you might be able to get it in the future. Yeah. And as well as all our uh, books and products and everything. So that, finally, ladies and gentlemen, is the end of our oh haul my goodness. for this week. So long. Oh, it took way longer than I anticipated. We're sorry. Oh, yes. But it was a lot of stuff, and hopefully you guys appreciate it, and you got, uh, got to see some cool stuff. So, I, you know, it's a little late for you to let me know what you got this week and stuff with new comics coming out tomorrow. So I understand. Wait for Friday. Yeah, wait for, tell us. Yeah, wait for Friday. Mm -hmm. uh, I will have a review. I believe it's Aquaman number one up tomorrow. Mm -hmm. I think that's my book this week. <laughs> um, it's one of the Rebirth books. I'm pretty sure it's that one, Aquaman number one. I'll have up on uh, Comic Frontline tomorrow. And uh, there's no live show this week. Lots of reasons. Most mm -hmm. of us are not available yeah. to do it. Um, let's see what else. Anything else? I don't think so. That's pretty much the gist of everything right now. So uh, just stay tuned to Comment Frontline for all the other reviews, all the other hauls, all the other videos. And we'll see you next time on WMT's Hall. Thank you guys for watching. Bye.